Okay, so I'm replacing my stock BMW horn here with the uh, BMW car horn here. I removed some of the um, other screws, including two that attach to the radiator there. Um, and then there's one bolt right, right there. Uh, basically, this holds onto that. So this is the current horn sound. And now I just snapped in the BMW car horn and this is the BMW car horn. So much louder. Probably around the uh, same decibels as maybe the sound bomb, but this BMW car horn cost me $16 from Amazon. It's for a 300 series BMW. Basically, here's the two horns compared side by side, the stock one and the BMW car horn. So this is the box that it came in and there is the part number. And so it comes with two different connection types here and then the one I already put on it, which matches the BMW one. So the other thing you're gonna need is to take this little locking uh, clip to reattach it replaces this bar so the one thing I found is that the uh, the bolt won't fit through the hole it's just a little too wide a little, a little too wide there so I'm going to drill out the bit Okay, so one other thing I had to do is I had to grind down this piece a little bit. So it's sort of even with the curve, so it fits on this. Because this has to go vertical. If it goes horizontal like that, it won't fit in the slot. And so because of the bend, I had to grind down a little bit so the threads line up. You can see the horn sort of faces forward. Um, I don't know, you would think maybe drill a hole in here so water would drain out but uh, we'll see I mean it's 15 16 bucks so that's sort of how it is and you can see there's the horn and that's that's the screw uh, or the bolt all right so it's all bolted back up now you don't have to remove the antifreeze thing I just had done that just to see what I was working with inside so these two short shorter screws they go back into the radiator holes here and there and then the longer screws go back in here and here these are the tools i used so you need uh this is a, a t45 and this is a a t t25 now i have a t25 these tools here or these bits are about the only thing that i don't pack in my toolkit but that I use when I'm at home. So I have all the corresponding um, Torx and Allen wrenches to these Torx bits. But when I'm at home, I go ahead and use the Torx bits. Of course, this stays in my toolkit for some of the other bits. The uh, horn, I just went sort of ratchet tight and then that's it. So all in all, now that you know, it's probably about a half an hour job. Uh, probably took me a little bit longer than that just figuring things out. Maybe you could get it down to 15, 20 minutes. Uh, if you have any better ways, I didn't think you needed to remove too much. I just sort of loosened this up. But if you have any better ways or tips or tricks or have you seen other people do it, let me know. We're, all, we're on the same page. This screw, The screws I loosened up are this screw here. Uh, the two radiator screws this one and that one this one here and then these two uh, and I don't think you need to oops you don't need to loosen these in retrospect um, I didn't know if that was attached or not